Well, here we are at last. Sea View in Newport, Rhode Island. It's like coming uh, to see dark shadows. It's like if somebody ran in to see Barnabas and saw you. That's the way I'm reacting to this house, which I have not really seen from this angle before. Now, right here is the Port Cachere. And I don't recall ever seeing it on the show. Maybe you people do. And then come with me, uh, follow me over here. Here's the gate. So you, everybody gets a sort of a look of where we're at here. That's Ruggles Avenue. And this is the drive up to the Port Cachere. As I say, this part is not too familiar. At least I don't recall seeing too much of this on the show. Most of the shots of the house are from the other side. We'll walk over there and take that in. Now we're going past a rather remarkable stained glass window, which I have not seen is inside, but uh, I've seen pictures and it's really quite lovely. These were all imported by one of the owners. I've forgotten which one, but uh, don't count on me. We'll get Paul Sousa on shortly. He is the authority on this house. I'm just gosh golly gee whizzing here. That's all I'm doing. The sun is from the shadow here, but isn't that a pretty, pretty tree? Mm -hmm. Really is a lovely estate. That tree is gorgeous. Now, here is the pan around da down through here. This is the sweep of land that you usually see. The camera is usually down there taking pictures of the house on the, when they ever show the outside of Collinwood. And it's always down there. It was down on that corner where I was, and I'll have to tell you that story in a minute, but let's walk around. My, I was here once before, but not, as in the, not invited in. I was, I was poking my nose through the fence, like poaching, <laughs> and uh, like Barnabas used to do when he wasn't supposed to be alive. Just before he was officially invited into the house, the first time, I'm sure he scouted the place. Well, that's what I did here one time. Surprise. When you, come around, when you come around here, you'll recognize something very familiar, meaning, the, of course, the terrace. And the terrace, as you all know, was reproduced in the studio. It was the nearest thing to a reproduction of anything, now that I think of it. Um, the front door of the old house, for example, never looked. Is that up in the camera? Uh-huh. Are you, are you got it on? Yes. Somebody's pointed out a sock up there. I can hardly see it. Do you people see it hanging out that window? That's that David Collins again, not tidying up. David, just get your socks out of that window. David, you just tidy up your room. Get that sock out of the vine up below your window there. Oh, no. We thought this was kind of a pretty door, so we're, we're, we're going to invent a story around it. That, and we're, we're assuming that this is the door that Adam comes and goes by as he hides up in this, what we're calling the west wing of the building. And uh, it, we saw it earlier from the other side, but um, that could be the logical door he'd sneak in and out of, wouldn't you think? And uh, if you pan over there, you can get the extent of this whole side of the house. Okay, well, here we are. Have we gone around the house? We've seen it all. Oh, the memories are just incredible. <laughs> Somebody's putting one over on me right now. Eventually <laughs> here, past all the great summer cottages, as they call them, that the rich built in the early part of the century. And if you pan over there, you can see some of the lovely mansions uh, that grace the shoreline around this peninsula of around Newport. This goes on all the way around for miles and miles and miles. The Vanderbilt houses, there are two or three of them up and down here. The Breakers, the world famous Breakers, is right over beyond the white gabled house that you see at the point. And uh, I just wish this boat would take off and take me out to sea. I'm so full of it right now. But I better get off this boat before I'm arrested because I'm not supposed to be here.
just keep the camera on me and you'll see how how my by the way i was in the canadian navy too uh, so i should have my sea legs but that was many moons ago when i was in the canadian navy a little dirty here oh. <laughs> hold on I made it without getting arrested. Isn't it marvelous? So there we get another shot of it over there. You see? Okay. A single tear falls, a sad remembrance of the night when she was told. 